Hey everyone, welcome back. Matthew Harris here. I'm glad you're with me. Today we are going to finish this hammer. Some of you may remember it from almost a year ago when we made it originally and we ran it with a valve just controlled by hand. Well, it's needed a foot treadle linkage hooked up to it and that's what we're going to finish in this video today along with a few other details. I'm glad you're here. Let's do this. Here Jared and Alan are wrapping this poplar wood base with some metal straps. They're doing this for a couple of reasons, mainly to strengthen it and help prevent it from cracking worse. It's already developed one crack down the side, but that's kind of to be expected with one solid hunk of wood like this. They're doing this hot with the torch, which chars the base, but it honestly gave it kind of a cool appearance. And when they were done, they ran the torch over the entire thing which uh, made it look kind of aged and weathered. Really cool. Okay, so I have some of the linkage parts pre-made. Actually, Jared made these up for me, and I have figured out what my offset from the machine to the linkage is. That's three feet, so I need to make a little boss here that's drilled and tapped to receive a bolt. This is gonna be the top part of the linkage, so uh, when you step down on the treadle, it will push this part up. It's going to pivot here. It's going to pull this down, blah, blah, blah. You'll see better <laughs> um, after I get it hooked up. But uh, we'll make this boss right now, and um, that'll be the next step. I cut a piece of uh, one-inch round mild steel down to a little bit more than three inches, and then I faced it off on the lathe to get it perfectly square. Then I took a center drill, and drilled the end and then drilled it out to the proper drill size for a 3 8 16 tap. So I'm gonna tap this by hand on the lathe. Ideally, you would use a live center, kind of where my hand is to get this lined up, but I've done hundreds of holes like this and you can kind of feel it if you spin the chuck, you can feel it centering up. And then it was on to the hammer to install these parts. So I identified where I wanted the boss to be and I ground the paint off so that I could tack it into place temporarily. I didn't fully weld anything because I wanted to make sure that all of the geometry of this treadle linkage worked out correctly. I had worked it out in CAD, but you never know until you try it out for real. So everything was just tacked into place to begin with. Then I grabbed some metal off the rack and made the longer part of the linkage. All right, so it's the moment of truth now. In any sort of lever system, it's all about the ratio of one pivot point to the other. And this is honestly the first time I've done like a treadle like this and have pivots. What I'm looking for is on that control valve, I want it to get to 45 degrees, which is good enough travel. So I'm gonna pivot this. Oh yeah, there we go. I think we got it. The real test will be when I hook the air up to it to see, which we might have to do right now for the fun of it, just to test it. Still obviously have to put the spring on here to keep the treadle up, um, but I am super happy with that. All right, so. Okay guys, so the treadle is good in that the geometry is correct, but you'll notice I have this little hammer under here to keep it propped up because you know all the gravity from the weight wants to pull it down. So I ordered this spring from McMaster Car. That's going to be attached here to pull this up. I think this spring has the right amount of tension. If it doesn't, we'll either beef it up or get another one for the other side. So I need to drill a hole in the treadle and then I need to make a little bracket that bolts into here to pull it up. But we can't pull it up too far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna make another little bracket out of angle iron here and that'll be our stop on how far up the treadle comes. So we'll knock these two pieces out. Here's a piece of angle iron I'm gonna use for both of those. Okay guys, I'm pretty happy in the sense that the spring on the treadle feels just about right. As far as tension goes, that was a guesstimate based on our champion mechanical hammer. And um, yeah, it just 
the valve is actuating the amount that we need it to. So let's hook some air to it real quick and test it fully with the treadle hooked up. Okay, and that's just awesome. As you can hear, I am testing it with a little tiny compressor here in the shop. Um, but I'm gonna call this hammer done other than a few minor things on the air system. There's two little leaks that I have to take care of and a few welds to make fully. But we're gonna make those welds. We'll trace those leaks down. And um, man, we're gonna forge something with this. I'm excited to see this thing 100% done. Uh, it's been way too long, so very cool. So I took a few minutes to finish up the welds on the linkage and um, make those permanent instead of tacks. And I gotta say, once we got forging with this thing, I was so impressed with the control and um, just how good it felt. The first die that you see here is a butcher die that we made up for doing like shoulders on a tenon. Um, it's not quite sharp enough, but I didn't want to make it too sharp to begin with. But you can see it's just isolating that mass and creating a really nice shoulder. Then, um, you know, you can hammer out on the flat portion of the die, the, um, the tenon and uh, pull that down. A very cool die. This hammer is so fast that it really does a nice job of pinching that material off to make that shoulder. We also made a pair of regular flat dies for this hammer, and then we made a pair of drawing dies that you'll see here in a minute. But it's amazing how good the control feels um, when you're using this hammer. It is really fast, so it makes up for speed. Um, you know what it lacks in in hitting weight it's only a 15 pound hammer and speaking of 15 pound hammer i did a piece of inch and a quarter just as a test to see how well it would do in pulling that tenon off and it actually did really well i mean for that much mass on this small of a hammer um, it pinched it off and pulled it out really nicely i could see doing this operation on this hammer and then going over to like a heavier hammer like the nasal 2b to pull the tendon out. So here's the drawing dies, and I'm gonna forge a leaf. I was so impressed with how fast it did this. I'm just putting a taper, you know, using the dies, and then um, it hit so fast, instead of squaring it off like you normally would, I just rolled it to forge it into a round. Um, it worked really well. Did square it off in the back to um, forge out the leaf, uh, you know, stem taper. Um, but this hammer hits so fast, it's just fun to run. I then started the flat, and you'll see on the next heat that I really pull this flat out. Again, because it hits so fast, this is like the perfect operation for this type of hammer. Um, we obviously have bigger power hammers in the shop, and we'll use those for the bigger work. But this hammer may get used, you know, even more than the Champion eventually. It just hits so fast, and it's fun to run. And here's two more of our blacksmiths in the shop uh, running the power hammer. Now, both Alan and Chase are fairly new to power hammer, so it takes a little bit to get used to the speed. But Alan's trying this hammer out for the first time. And here's Chase. He's trying it out for the first time as well. Um, these guys have only been forging on power hammers, um, man, maybe a little less than three months. So uh, they've done some work forging, like, tapers on stems of the tree that we just finished um, but yeah it takes a little bit to get used to the speed of this hammer but it is very controllable so um, it really does feel great on the treadle and um, it, the learning curve is pretty fast this is a really phenomenal little machine that uh, we're only beginning to um, tap the potential of
Well, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button because we have a ton of plans for more tooling and jobs to do with this hammer and so many other things. Thank you to everyone who follows us on this platform, and we'll see you on the next one.